Introducing Social Banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. My name is uh, Bastian Gotter. I'm the co-founder of Iroko Partners. Uh, who run irokotv.com with my best friend, uh, Jason Joko. Iroko TV is um, basically the, the home of Nollywood. We offer on-demand Nollywood movies all around the world. So whenever you want to enjoy uh, Nollywood content, uh, you, can, you can come to our website and, and watch it. It's, it's a very basic service. Uh, it's brand new movies at any point in time uh, on our website. So it, it's simple and on-demand. Once you go your net, click up EurocoTV.com. Wow! Euroco TV uh, was set up about two and a half years ago. Um, I think at the time I was still trading oil in, in, in London and uh, Jason had been running around having a couple of businesses, uh, some successful, some not, and he'd just been gone back to Nigeria and ha had a bit of a look around of like what is going on, like it's his, it's his native country, uh, what was happening. And he had, he, he, he had a look around and local content was everywhere, like uh, music, uh, movies, everything was, was, was local and, and the people were consuming it at an unbelievable rate. And he was saying like, Hollywood, like who cared? Like nobody cared. Like nobody seemed to want the latest season of 24. It was like, what's the latest Nollywood blockbuster? That's a pretty astonishing like thing. If you think about it, like a Nollywood movie might have a production budget of 20, 30 thousand dollars. Whereas 24 is like $100,000, $150,000 an episode, right? So if, if not more, like, I mean, I think House of Cards cost them, I think, $10 million per episode on Netflix. So the budgets are so different, but the impact on the consumer is, is, is Nollywood wins hands down. So there was a, there was a big, big uh, opportunity to say, hey, this content is good, people like it. Let's see how we can distribute it better. We had a very, very steep uh, traffic growth for the, for the first year. Uh, we have a two-tiered model, which is basically 95% of our content is free and the other 5% is paid for. The 5% are the brand new movies. So um, at the beginning of this thing was free. We had very, very steep growth rates in terms of our consumption. Now we have, we have a more steady growth rate. We're still growing year on year, but uh, it, we focus on quality of, of subscribers. Because today you can go to YouTube and you'll find a lot of movies of dubious quality. If you come to Iroko TV, we make sure that our movies are of high quality, brand new movies. So we've seen quite a lot of subscriber growth on the free basis, and now we're seeing a, a steep subscriber growth on the paid for basis because people actually want to watch the, the brand new stuff. And we think that ultimately, Nollywood deserves to not be free. No self-respecting movie industry is free. Like, you don't go onto YouTube and find half of Bollywood there. You just don't do that because that industry should not be free. It should be paid for. Otherwise, you're creating the second piracy issue that you had before. Low margin returns, which ultimately result in low quality of the production. Today, there's multiple platforms where you can enjoy Nollywood movies. I think Iroko TV is different in a sense that we have brand new Nollywood movies. There's at least 12 to 15 brand new movies on our site every single month. So if you're a Nollywood fan and you want to watch the latest blockbusters, you come to irokotv.com and you enjoy them. So I think that's, that's the key differentiator. We also think that we have the biggest historic library of Nollywood movies. So if you're, if you're a diehard fan, you want to see the 1995 uh, movies with Sofia in London, like whatever, like you can enjoy them on our platform and have fun watching the classics. Can you let go of the pigeon please? Is the pigeon complaining? What is your own? This pigeon is not complaining. Why are you ranting? The pigeon is even probably enjoying my grip. So what is your problem? We try to always push it, right? Like I think innovation at the beginning was mostly in terms of the business model. Like somebody had to bring Nollywood professionally online, we did that. I think the next step of innovation will be like technology. Uh, ultimately, I think over the next five years, every single young person or older person in Nigeria will have a smartphone in their hands. You need to be on that smartphone and deliver people content that they want in the shape and way and form that they want. 
So our next big innovation challenge will be how we distribute our content to, uh, to, to, to Africa. The Roku TV in five years, I think we want to be in 20% of Nigerian households as the provider of entertainment uh, when it comes to Nollywood. I think that that's pretty much uh, the goal. So we'll see uh, if we achieve that or not.